All right, guys, so uh, I put together a video to show you guys how to make um, these hopper legs that I kind of uh, sort of created. So I've seen the um, foam hopper legs before, and uh, I thought, hey, you know, if I use a hot glue, or not a hot glue gun, but a um, soldering gun, I can actually melt that um, foam and kind of get like a, like a cool realistic look to it, and it kind of worked pretty good. So I thought I'd share a video um, with you on how I did it. Um, so if you're interested in giving that a shot, um, go for it. Uh, I think it's gonna float that fly really well. I mean, the more foam we have on that fly, the, the better it's gonna float. So uh, I, I'm gonna show you how I actually uh, made the legs and I'll show you how I use the soldering gun to kind of add a realistic look to it. So hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna show you um, how I make these hopper legs. Um, they are super cool because they're made out of foam and so they're gonna really help with the flotation of that hopper. So you wanna cut them out to the size that you want. Um, the edges don't have to be perfect because I'm gonna use a soldering gun to kind of uh, tone them down a little bit uh, and kind of give some details to it. But if you take a pin, you wanna go at an angle um, here so that the leg sticks out at an angle and kind of just uh, try to get the middle of it if you can and then just poke that hole uh, through there, uh, should be good. Okay, and then take your uh, bobbin threader here and uh, go ahead and stick that through. Uh, and you can go all the way through till you get that little spot right, uh, where did it go? right there. Take whatever color leg you want. Um, you can kind of just put it through the gap there. Okay, and kind of just let it hang and then pull it through. Now you got to pull it kind of hard because uh, you got to get that one in through, which it pops through right there. Okay, and then since the leg is going to be hanging this way and coming down at an angle, you want to tie a knot um, on this end. Okay, just like that. Uh, one should be sufficient. Kind of pull it down so it's uh, snug. Um, take a little zap a gap. You don't need much. Let me set that down. And I usually just put a little, make sure you get all the excess off, just put a little dab on there. Okay, and then just pull it through. Watch your hand there so you don't get it. Okay, and then you're good to go. And then you take your scissors, trim this. Okay, and then you can kind of cut the leg, um, you know, just like that for now. Uh, and then you can always trim that up um, later on. Um, you can do um, two through there if you want. Uh, usually just do one where it works pretty good. And then I'll show you in just a second how I use the soldering gun um, to kind of add the details to this. Okay, so now they got the soldering gun heated up. What I'm gonna try to do is soften the edges of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of going around the edge. Um, and it's nice when you can get kind of a brown color to it. Uh, because once you get that brown color, it kind of has that realistic um, kind of look to it. You keep going all the way up. Kind of start to see that brown there now. Okay, and then do the same on this side. Got to be careful not to leave it on there too long. It can get pretty hot. You don't want to melt that. I mean, you do want to melt it. You just don't want to go too far. Like that was a little too much right there. So it takes a little practice. I've only done this a couple times. Um, so I'm kind of playing around with it. Okay, and then kind of get the underside. Careful not to hit your leg. Uh, oftentimes it'll cause that uh, rubber on the rubber leg to melt too much. Uh, it actually causes the um, the foam to actually bend a little bit, which is kind of nice because it gives it kind of a, a realistic look to it. Okay, and I get the other side. And I would say almost a few um, sort of imperfections are okay because it starts to give that uh, realistic look. And if I, now once I get the kind of basic shape, I'll spend more, more time on it. Um, this end gets a little tricky. 
Um, you don't want to get too close to that leg, so I would I would more or less try to avoid that. Um, but what you can start doing now is take the sharp point um, and kind of do like little, um, they're almost like the little crevices on the leg. And you can kind of see that now, maybe a couple marks here. Careful not to go too far on that side because it'll get into the leg, the red part of that leg. And then you can kind of do the same thing here. Kind of just do uh, spacing. Doesn't that be perfect? You're just trying to get it, little markings to give it kind of that realistic look on it. Do a couple more. And then maybe a few small marks here. Now you can come back through and you can, um, you know, you can do more on that. You can add some more, uh, some more dots in there, some more color to it. Um, but it really um, is a cool look to it. That was kind of a realistic, it gets a little bend on it. Uh, when you attach it to the fly, you're going to probably cut it uh, right about here uh, and kind of put it at an angle. Um, I'll show you a fly that I actually did. This is my first one I ever did, uh, which is right here. So you can see the legs uh, right there. And I actually ended up marking up um, kind of the, see if I can get it on the camera here, on the front side, uh, even underneath. And then you can see the other leg right there. So it's a, it's a great uh, great method to do some kind of realistic hopper legs. You know, the more foam you can get on these bugs, uh, the higher that thing's gonna float. So real uh, excited to see um, how this works uh, this summer. So here's another look at the leg there. Maybe you can kind of play around with it. Um, you know, do more or less depending on what you want. But this is not going anywhere, too. That little back leg's not going anywhere. So it should work good for you. Uh, give it a shot. Let me know uh, how it works out for you. Mm -hmm.